hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with rupan the third part two episode number 99 and 143 reaction okay uh the previous uh episodes that i reacted to were one of the most unusual and hilarious episodes one was the one with the popcorn where <laughs> because of fujiko's um request rupan decided to yeah let's go to the moon and how should we go there using popcorn fueled energy and he was able to find um people who were able to make that uh, popcorn fueled rocket for him unfortunately they made the classic anime mistake that is mixing up salt with sugar and instead of going up the rocket went down but i i i'm sure they still had fun you know like instead of going to the moon they went to <laughs> inside the earth it is, it's probably it's probably going to be a little bit hot but I think they can handle it <laughs> and um, the next episode was the one with the treasure where um, there's like that uh, there's that girl who was like you know like I'm acting as a nun who wanted to get that treasure Rupan kind of got that treasure for himself but she tricked him and you know and was able to grab the treasure for herself so that she could spend it on herself and her you know like her boyfriends <laughs> unfortunately by the end of it rupan was able to completely like you know twist the thing on her and uh, zenigata was also involved so zenigata like you know arrested was going to arrest that girl and rupan somehow was able to get away with the treasure and like you know get away from zenigata as well but unfortunately the treasure was basically antidotes for the snakes uh, I'm still they can make use of it, you know, maybe it'll fetch quite a penny So yeah, those were the two, epi two episodes. So today uh, first I'm going to react to episode 99 and then 143 and as you can see these are also recommended and if you want to recommend stuff I'm still taking recommendations two more people can recommend two two episodes that is total four episodes after that I'll stop taking recommendations and um, Go to season three and in season two. I'll also do it do the same do the same recommendation thing so yeah, anyways, uh, let's get started. This is episode number 99, reaction of Rupan the Third, part two. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer right here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <clears throat> One thing I've always been curious about, do all these, uh, uh, like, you know, the anime episodes that we watch, are they, do they, like, have a manga? Like, usually what we see in anime is, like, they're either adapted from a manga or a light novel, visual novel, game. Like, there's, like, a source material. Obviously, there are anime originals as well, but most of them have, like, a source material. So, do all of these episodes that we're watching are like they're in a manga and that are being adapted or are these like anime original episodes mixed with manga adapted episodes as well so i've always been curious about that because i know lupan has a manga i think most probably so yeah all right wait what is this place hannibal okay Okay. Company. Oh, great. This is here. <laughs> wow, the some the cars are like moving steadily. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we do now? Let's wait, what? <laughs> wait, 
Bon. Okay, that's a really handy car. If you can switch it like that. <laughs> yeah, jump in. Zengata. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh! Oh no. Yep. Wow, good control. The driver needs a race. What is this GTA? Like. <laughs> oh my god, I remember playing GTA. Like, you go into the, pay, like, you know, the spray shop, and there's like. <laughs> police. They don't recognize you. Oh, it's kind of like that. There you go. <laughs> wow, Zenigata, you weren't able to recognize Jigen. What? Rupan had a good disguise, but Zenigata? Uh, but Jigen? Wow. Cat and Magnum. Okay. I'm guessing the gun Magnum they're talking about. <laughs> Wait, they ditched his car their car? That's nasty. Don't put that in your mouth. Oh, they're underneath, okay. Hmm. Richard Blanco. Oh, one gold coin. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? What? Whoa! That's an awful lot of bullets for one. Wow. Who the? Man. Is this like a reference to a previous episode or something? I'm guessing this is like a reference to a previous episode. Okay. Not the duel? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, what the? Why is he? Does he have like also a vendetta against him? I'm guessing this is like a huge reference to one of the previous episodes, which I probably did not watch. Like, Goemon also seems pretty keen on getting him. Wow, the music is really good. Wow. Okay. I, I, I love this. Is probably my the best music. Oh no. Okay. Oh.
<laughs> wow. The car broke down, yep. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's true. And they don't have any phone. They could have just, you know, if they had phones and everything, they could have just called. Wow, he spent a lot of bullets to do that, and bullets are expensive, as far as I know, so... Oh! Eva. You sec... What? <laughs> what? Wow! All right, we're here. Having pictures? I'm guessing uh for a reason. No no no. What? Who Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa! What? You could just cut the thing, you know? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> oh. Seniga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh no. What is happening? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's he? He waves past the border. Okay. All right, there she is. Well, one of the police, okay, they. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Whoa, what? Okay. Oh, okay. It just nice, nice of going on to actually do that, you know. Eh. She helped you out. Come on. Okay.
generous and blanco and okay the clock okay hmm <laughs> oh yeah, he, he he has to go to the duel. Oh. Shit. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Wait, so Fujiko and Lu Rupan are going to get into this while Goemon and Oh no, the there is there he is. Okay, chicken is here, so... Oh, he's going to show where it is? Oh, that's Rupan! Okay, I, I, I realized that's Jigen, but did not realize that is... <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Banking. <laughs> the police are like, what? <laughs> That's better than execution, you know? So. What what else? Like we got the Oh, they're going to okay. Ooh, there it is. Why? It can be used as a currency. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Hopefully. Wow. What is it? Got it. What? Oh, wow. There's a, there's a map? God. Okay, so this is merely the indicator as to where the actual thing is. Oh, is this the same place that Jigen had a duel before? Or maybe it's something like that? Oh, okay, it's all right, all right. It's not that same place. It's on the way still. Yeah. Oh no, what's what is going to happen if he actually stood him up? Okay, no, there you go. If he stood him up this time, that'd be like hilarious. <laughs> Alright. 
Because uh, wait, did they get the thing that? Yeah, they got the treasure. Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh no, what the hell? Yeah! You grab the treasure! Oh no, uh, they don't have the time to do that. What the hell? Yo, the spring. Okay. Wait, who did that? Yo, that was extremely dangerous. He could have died. Oh, these are like the trails, okay. Ooh. Oh my god <coughs> Yeah, like he could have God No, that's not the problem here. He could have died when he just tried to get the gun and there was like a rock in his... <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right. He's ready with it. <coughs> the gun. Oh, what the? All right. He realized what's happening. Oh no. Oh! 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 Nice, okay. Woo! Got him. Yeah, he tried to aim for his head and the hat kind of was like an you know, acted as a uh, like you know like a like it kind of made him not realize where to shoot like you know the, the hat itself was like a thing. So he got the hat he didn't realize that like his head was not there. Or I don't know, something like that. Oh no, how do... Okay. Oh! Ooh. 
Wait, what? What, what, yeah, I should have expected that. They, they would lose the treasure. <laughs> wow, this is a really good episode. Oh boy, this is full of, um, what do you call it? Action, yeah, action, and it was just, yeah, this is really amazing. And, uh, all right, so this episode here, we could see <coughs> Rupan. Like two things happens first. The first thing that happens is um No, the first thing that happens is they um try to get away from uh Zenigata. Where well, Lupan was talking about the treasure, Zenigata was kind of following them and yeah, again the chase, the cop chase, you know, it starts. <laughs> the the whole thing of the switch switching the steering wheel was, was kind of funny. Oh my god, like he just switched it and just turned it around. And Zenigata obviously saw that the car was facing that direction. And you know, if you turn the car, who would realize like, yeah, the car is turning. So he thought that, yeah, like I could just go there and stand in front in the middle of the road. <laughs> and then he saw the car coming towards him and he's like, okay. Oh lord. And uh, right, yeah, now this... <laughs> This whole chase scene was really funny in a way you can say that they the whole thing with the car changing color and them like just putting on disguises like it it, it really reminded me of like you know those uh GTA games like not not the, the the newer ones I'm talking about the older ones GTA 3 Vice City San Andreas where uh you know like you kind of there was like these spray shops <laughs> There's police looking for you, get into the spray shop, the police is waiting for you outside, and then you come out, the police is like, wait, where did they go? Because your car color is changed, they are unable to recognize you, and they, you just like, you know, speed past them. <laughs> oh my god, that was really hilarious. And a similar thing happened here as well, Jigen, yeah, Zenigata wasn't able to realize that it was Rupan. Rupan's disguise was really good, while... Jigen's disguise was bad, I have to say, like I could really guess that that was Jigen from that, but unfortunately this is anime, so yeah, like especially anime characters, they are not able to actually see through a disguise, even though the disguise is extremely obvious, like you know, that's like a curse for anime characters, a disease you can call it as well, like in a lot of animes I've seen like so probable and so like you know, easy to look through disguises being completely <laughs> like you know the characters completely being unable to recognize them like just put on a mustache you won't be able to recognize the character um but ruban's disguise was really good i i like no one would be able to recognize him all right they they trick them and get away from there go to the sewers and here comes what was his name stone man no what Leon Hill. Yeah, Leon Hill. <clears throat> he comes and he's like, oh, like, I'm like, you know, like, I want to, I want, want a rematch for the duo. And <clears throat> he, he goes away. Now, here's the thing. I thought at that moment, maybe this was like a reference to one of the previous episodes where probably this guy came and, you know, like there was that whole, maybe that battle happened. And uh, I was thinking, like, yeah, since I've not watched, probably have not watched that episode, that's why I'm unable to re realize uh, what he's talking about. But then, um, later on, I kind of thought that, okay, maybe this is just, like, a little backstory that probably did not, was not shown, because the story, they explained it in this episode. So I'm guessing, I don't know, did, did we get this guy before? No, this, this guy, Iron, what is it? Leon Hill. Leon Hill. Uh, maybe we got this person before in one of the previous episode. I don't know. Let me know. <clears throat> and like, I was really surprised seeing Goemon, like, you know, trying to get him. I'm like, what's happening? And he seemed really, I don't know, like, he seemed really, like deliberately going after him. 
I'm guessing they also had like a little vendetta against each other or something, something like that. Probably Goemon. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. He <clears throat> like in the beginning, he was really like you know keen on going after him, and even on in that that uh, that cafe or not cafe, but that uh, diner or whatever, where the, he was eating like you know stuff. Even there, Goemon was acting very aggressively. He was like, oh, like you know, come on, take your weapon out. Let's have a go over here. So <clears throat> maybe they had like a little grudge. He had a little grudge on him or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Rupan is like, okay, so you're going to duel him? Like, we have our treasure to get. <laughs> like, Hannibal's treasure. And he's like, yeah, it's the same place. We have to go to the same place. So, no problem. So, they, they get into the... Oh, and here they, like, you know, he talks about the little story. And it's like... <laughs> It's a very um, unfortunate story because none of them had any, like, you know, like, Jigen did not have any intention of uh, standing him up. But just because his car broke down, that was like a misunderstanding. Um, they, you know, like, the, because of the car, he wasn't able to go there and on time and this thing kept going. And either way, at that moment, as he said, like, if we fought, I would have won easily. Because I was a lot better, but now we are the same, like you know, strength. Yeah, we are at the same level. So, so here's the thing. Um, that would mean that he actually improved in a lot bigger, like in you know, a greater way, uh, like you know, rate than Jigen, didn't he? Like he was, he was more stronger than him at that moment. But now here they're at the same level. So that means, um, he grew more than Jigen in this little amount of time so maybe if he actually kept training more or whatever he d is doing maybe he could have surpassed Jigen in the future so no but he he was like yeah I need to fight now so he came here issued the challenge and uh, yeah wait like oh okay I understand I was like why why like they he came over here and told them to go to that place and then I realized like he chose that place because that's the place that he stood him up like you know up so that's why he chose that place so that they can have the fight again over there and where, whereas he could have just had the fight over here but he did not do that he decided to go there first so that's the same place all right and uh, they get to go, go on the airplane get on the airplane and Oh my god, the, I think the, the France army, I think, yeah, one of the jet planes. <laughs> Zeni got, <laughs> Zeni got a, like, you know, like, you know, I don't know how he convinced them, but he was able to convince one of them at least, and get one plane at his disposal, and <clears throat> they were almost going to get them, and it was a good plan, you know. But they should have, uh, I was going to say they should have used like a metal chain or something, but I forgot. This is Zen, uh, Goemon we are talking about. He can cut off metal easily as well. So yeah, it wouldn't work either way. Um, so he used that miss rocket to get him and get like, you know, trying to drag him out of there. Now, that was a very bad plan in my opinion, because they could have easily jumped out on a parachute. <laughs> That was, a, that was the worst plan that Zengata made. But Goemon was there, so they were like, yeah, just cut off the, the rope or whatever that was. <laughs> now, oh my god, then... <laughs> the, <laughs> Zengata's like, okay, like shoot again. And the guy's like, okay, no, no, we were not supposed to shoot there. It's like outside our territory. It, it's like a sp start a war or whatever. And Zengata was like, look, look at this, I have a gun. And he, he's like, fine, you were telling me to shoot, I'll shoot. And he press the eject button, Zengata goes out. That was one of the funniest scenes in this episode. I was, that really caught me off guard. And I feel like, like with it, whichever things that actually caught, yeah, catches you off guard, um, <laughs> that's really funny. However, uh, you know, like subtle the comedy is, it really hits you if something ca catches you off guard. And that scene caught me completely off guard. I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, and, 
Okay, Lupin tricks the other you know, territory, like the, the army there, the airplanes, and jumps out on parachute and uh, yeah, infiltrate their territory. Fujiko comes in with a car and Goemon is nice enough to actually cut off the tree so that <laughs> Zenigata can escape. And that was nice of him, you know, I, I, I did not expect him doing that. But yeah, he, he, he would have gotten like, you know, in trouble if the police or whatever got their hands on Zenigata at that moment because it was illegal tres trespass thing, you know. So, yeah. okay, so then they go to the guy, not to go to the guy, but like, you know, they're like in the place where the guy is going who has the coin. And now, okay, now here's the thing. I thought they were going to, you know, split off. But Jigen was still there with them, Jigen and Goemon, and helped them out with the uh, with stealing the coin, and he did his own thing later on as well. Um, that was good. You know, both of them were there in each other's troubles. Later on, Lupin also helps out uh, Jigen, and uh, yeah. Now, <clears throat> what happens is Jigen goes to that diner place. They talk about where we're going to like, you know, be at what time, this and that. Here again, as I said, Goemon was acting extremely hostile. I don't know, maybe like he has like a grudge on him or something. Or I don't know why he has a grudge on him because like Goemon having a grudge on anyone is something I feel like is very rare. Kind of rare, you know. So I was kind of surprised at that. But anyways, um, all right. Now we infiltrated the mansion. And Rupan uh, Jigen, they were able to get in, knock that person out, get the um, clock in which the coin was, and get out of there. And <laughs> Zenigata was also caught, but Rupan was like, yeah, give him some spanking, and that'll do. <laughs> Alright, now, here's the twist. We were thinking that the gold coin was something that he was actually trying to get. And I did think, like, what would one single gold coin do? Um, I thought maybe it was so rare or so, like, you know, since it is one in the world, maybe that's why the uh, amount that the gold coin will go for is immense. That's the reason why Rupan is trying to get that. But turns out that's not the full thing. So he says, like, do you know why these only one of them were made? Because uh, it can be used as a currency and okay then he kind of makes some calculations and stuff kind of makes like kind of, uh, weighs the thing i did not understand why he was doing that. i thought he was doing that to maybe see if it was real or fake or something like that and but turns out that was not the reason why he was doing it i realized that later on because he says okay where is it there's a rumor that says hannibal buried his war funds somewhere when he crossed the Pyrenees and I know it's true and then he says Goemon slash this and he just you know like kind of you know, throws it up Goemon slashes it and that's why he was weighing the thing you know he was trying to uh, see if it it has like some kind of a maybe like a thing or inscription something like that or was it hollow inside something like that maybe he was trying to uh, gather and after realizing that yeah there is something with this coin he threw it to goemon goemon cut it off and there you go a little map inside it so hannibal actually did that kind of intelligent you know like he made as if like the coin itself was very uh, you know expensive but the actual treasure lied something like you know, the, the actual thing that uh, pointed to the treasure lied within the coin i'm guessing that guy the guy that that had the coin probably didn't even know that so okay all right so on the way they drop off jigen and they're like yeah like, you know we're going to get that thing so you know like we'll come take you pick you up again and oh my god like this part they go like you know jigen goes and like stops there where they're I'm going to have the duel and I was thinking like what would have happened if that guy ditched him now that would have been hilarious you know in a way <laughs> but you know what I feel like even if that guy ditched him this is Jigen we're talking about he wouldn't be bothered he'd be like ah 
yeah fine you ditched me so what and he would just go on his own way <laughs> it wouldn't bother him just like it bothered that guy so much uh, like you can would be very cool with that i feel like that would have happened <laughs> but yeah anyways i was surprised that like um they actually i guess they did not have anything to show us like i was thinking they're going to show how uh, rupan got the treasure but i'm guessing they just went to the place dug it up and just grabbed the treasure something like that no problem there and they come back with the treasure and they still have not done the duel and rupan is like come quickly like you know we need to get out of here the, the thing will close and Oh my god, then, okay, this is, a, this, the thing that Rupan does after this, I think it's extremely dangerous, the thing he did. Like, the thing that was dangerous is not that he took, like, yeah, he took his gun, that is dangerous. It, the, the thing that is dangerous here is not that he dismantled his gun and actually put it diff in different parts. The thing that was dangerous is that he actually replaced the gun with a rock and didn't tell him that. So, like oh my god like ah uh, but i guess lupan had it calculated you know he probably had it calculated he was like okay jigen takes 0.7 seconds to quick draw so uh he would easily win the match but you know like if it takes that much of a little time then maybe if i replace this with a rock he would still be able to be alive because within 0.7 seconds he would realize that the gun is missing and he would easily be able to get into cover so like let's imagine like it takes 0.7 seconds for jigen to draw the gun while the other guy takes one second to draw the gun and you know what <sighs> okay let me uh, end that thing first so when jigen is going to try to get his gun in, in 0.7 seconds he would realize the gun is missing and he would still have a little time left and within that little 0.3 seconds that that guy would take to draw the gun, he would go into cover. Like that's how fast he would do. And it will work out pretty well. I, I'm guessing Rupan had it all calculated out. That's why he took that risk. Now, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking like they could have just left the gun there. And like, you know, he like Rupan changed the gun with the uh, rock. So that means he had the confidence that Jigen would be able to draw quicker than him. So if he actually left the gun there, Jigen could have easily drew the gun and killed him. I'm, 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 I'm guessing they're like, you know, going to kill each other. He would have killed him first. And then go. That would have been a lot easier, I feel like. Isn't it? Like, you know, like the guy would have been dead and Rupan could have just waited for a few seconds over there. And that would have been a lot more quicker as well, you know, like, because Rupan was waiting at the gate. And Jigen had to keep running and dodging the bullets to come to the gate. So if they just waited there for a few minutes, you know, he could have killed him. Like, you know, get and got in the car and just take in the car to get out of there. It would have been a lot time, less time consuming, I feel like. This made the whole thing more complicated, I think. And it had a big risk. I don't know. <laughs> but it was entertaining, you know, like, I guess. No, there was like more um no action scenes so okay so he you know he realizes the gun is missing jumps into the cover and starts grabbing the um you know like the parts one by one kind of keep like you know making like constructing the gun again and um yeah and then he little by little gets out of that place the final part was really cool he just the other guy realizes, the Hill realizes that he's trying to get the magazine of the gun. He shoots a magazine continuously while Rupan also comes and shoots, in, sh shoots it in me there. <clears throat> Jigen grabs it, drops, shoots. He also shoots, he misses him because of his hat. It grazes his hat while he gets hit and he dies. And then they grab into the car, just rush past the gate. Unfortunately, the car gets just you know flattened and half of it is outside and the treasure is just in there they lose the treasure and their car and yeah now this is what i was saying you know the plan that i said at the beginning that they could have just waited there for a few seconds jigen would have killed him and then get out if they did that they could have easily gotten the treasure out 
because it would have been a lot less time consuming and they could have gotten the treasure but ah sad nothing good you can do about it <laughs> i i thought the ending would be fujiko <laughs> fujiko betraying them again but it turns out like fujiko didn't need to betray them <laughs> The treasure itself was like you know like they weren't able to get it so yeah <laughs> anyways okay let's start episode number 143 reaction so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go i have to say the previous episode's music was really good i like the music uh the background music that was playing All right, Miami Bank. Okay, bank robbery this episode. What the who? Ah, oh. oh my God. Oh, oh. One chance. Maybe they could call in Rupan and do some advertisement or something. <laughs> Anniversary of the Miami bank robbery. I think they're going to do that. They're going to bring Rupan here for the bank robbery or whatever. And that's going to boost in their <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, everyone's just chilling. <laughs> Goemon's just. <laughs> They're doing this as an advertisement. Oh my god, I knew they were going to do this. Now everyone's going to go there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> They're just here to have a vacay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like what? We're off duty now. <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah oh oh no <laughs> the conveniently placed there you go Ha <laughs> ha 
What? <laughs> Is that Rupan? <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a false bottom. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. They're going to hire him. Wow. Oh my god, I don't know how I guessed that, but I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. At this point, this is just his hobby. This is not his job, you know. Grabbing, catching Rupan is just his hobby. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> There's a police. There's a robber and there's the bank manager who's just telling them to rob the bank. Wow. You can... You can take it off now. Yeah. Wow, the bank manager is grabbing the police and telling the thief to rob the bank. Maybe they'll even get paid, you know, to rob the bank. What? Oh, wait, she's not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Oh no, he's gone. Oh no. Jigen Chan is not here. <laughs> but Goemon is here. Wow, this okay. <laughs> oh no. But what is Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. But I feel like Ruban himself is... I feel Ruban himself would be easily able to grab everything. Wow. And there's nothing to grab, I guess. No money. <sighs> oh. You can just... You can just go in, I feel like. 
like they'll welcome him they'll be like yeah everyone come what is that oh a drilling machine my god okay Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? There you go. <laughs> move, move. They'll be like, you know, doing confetti and everything, yeah? Welcome. What? Because there's nothing in there. Wow. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh! Wait, Z maybe Zenigata? Yup, there he is. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe that could have happened, but I. Okay. So. Either these guys know that he. Zane. There you go. He's crying. Ah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. Hopefully, I, I hope so. Oh, maybe after they gain money, then Rupan is going to go and rob it again. I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to gain a lot of people and then Yeah, okay Oh my god Yep, now, now they're going to go where is he?
Ó. There you go. Oh no, oh no. Either they're going to withdraw the money or they won't and he's going to get everything. Okay, they did not. All right. Oh no. Ugh. He did not have his friends at that moment, but this time. Oh wait, is he already here? All right, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Is Zenigata here actually in Lupin's disguise? No, in, is Lupin in Zenigata's disguise here or something? Uh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no there he is i thought he's he was in zenigata's disguise or something oh what Ah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh. So what did he do? Did he like? Oh. Oh my God. That's Ruban, I think. Yeah, that's Ruban. There you go.
You're going to suck up the money or something, I guess. <laughs> Are you stupid? All right, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is he going to on, go on top of it? Yeah. But Okay. <laughs> and they didn't even realize that these were actually Rupan's people. Like the people outside, I'm talking about them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I understood that. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna get sued. Or maybe not, I don't know. Like... <laughs> well, they are famous now, I guess. So... Wow. I guess they got a happy ending. One year ago, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe, maybe he has like a photo, like you know, framed with Rupan. Like, you know. <laughs> And they're back again. <laughs> it's kind of Kind of, uh, you know, like intelligent, I have to say. <laughs> like, both of them are helping each other, I guess. Oh, and that's the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, okay, this was this took a took an unusual turn, but yeah, okay, the first, so the, at the beginning, I kind of guessed that it will be something like that. Because at first they were talking about how they did not have any money, like, you know, people are not going to, are depositing in their, like, you know, bank and everything. So, I thought, like, okay, maybe, like, since this is a Rupan episode, you know, uh, maybe they are going to, like, you know, get Rupan here and make him rob the bank so that people, uh, you know, that bank become more, more famous. And I was correct. That's what they did. And I have to say, this is probably um one of those episodes where everyone wins if you think about it except zenigata i guess but he also kind of wins and I'm, I'm, I'm guess kind of wins you know like because he gets a chance every week uh, every year to like you know capture rupan and uh, yeah like this is like a like a thing this became like a routine 
like annually every year they are going to do this thing rupan is going to get the money and uh, zenigata is going to get his chance to capture rupan while uh, the purse uh, you know the bank manager like he is going to get more popular because of this <laughs> and uh, all right so okay the beginning we see that them actually issuing a warning that oh like rupan is going to get you know rob our bank and um, rupan is like wait i did not say anything like this. did you do say it like you know did you like you know send out a message or something jigen is like nope neither fujiko knows nor goemon knows <laughs> it was funny the whole chase scene with zenigata where rupan is like oh like take this guy off of me and i'll see what i can do <laughs> and okay now by the end of it they come to an agreement yeah i'll go and rob the bank that's now i obviously like this is something that i already knew that the bank wouldn't have any money because they're almost the bank is almost dying while rupan did not know that because they're here just for a vacation i doubt, doubt he knew that the bank was in such a bad uh, position so he did not know that the bank is uh, does not have any money in it because whenever there's like you know like like they're telling telling him to rob the bank that would obviously mean that the bank has money in it so i mean, i doubt rupan expected the bank to have no money so he okay now at the beginning he goes there and all you know on, while on the way fujiko bails out fujiko's like nope i'm not doing this Jigen goes away. Goemon at first, Goemon was like, "Okay, fine, let's do this." And then, <laughs> and then he sees that there's like a whole like you know carnival is happening in front of them, like like just selling Rupan dolls and stuff. And he's like, "Nah, I'm I'm not here for this farce." Now, one thing that actually I was not expecting here is Zenigata being there. Like, like Zenigata was there, I knew Zenigata would be there, but Zenigata being in on the plan was something I was not expecting. Okay, so what happens here is Rupan uses the drill to... <laughs> like the random stuff that happens, the whole scene with, you know, the, the lady and the, and the guy, you know, and when the drill starts drilling in, you know, like all the other <laughs> people, like, you know, the, the, the other guys who were just hiding in the room kind of pops up one after the other. Like random stuff. <laughs> That was funny. And <clears throat> infiltration successful, Rupan gets in and <laughs> the manager is like, oh, welcome, welcome. Um, here is our uh, locker and what you have to do is just grab the champagne bottle, break it on it and it'll open. Now, <clears throat> this part, I thought like Rupan is going to open the uh, thing, the vault. There won't be any money and that will be it and i honestly was not expecting zenigata being in there and even if zenigata was in there i thought he would come here sneak in into this whole thing i was not at all expecting the manager to actually work with zenigata now it's an interesting plan that he came up with here is that <clears throat> so what he actually did is like he actually called in rupan you know to rob the bank which would obviously mean that a lot of people will come here uh, his bank will get popular that's like the first step of his master plan the second step was that he like you know he would like you know not like you know, there would, wouldn't be any problem for rupan to get in and grab the like you know open the vault and it'll be easy for him to do that that's why they were just waiting there for him and he was like oh this is how you open the vault that's number step two Step three was he had another plan where he would like, you know, like, like, you know, like there's like in the third step, there's like an extra security here. What he planned was he should not let Rupan get away by robbing the bank. If that happens, you know, then like it's, it's just like an ordinary bank. If the bank is able to succeed in not letting Rupan rob it, then that will be a bigger thing that they will become even more famous. So this third step had like an extra security layer into it. First things first, he didn't even have any money in the bank. 
So even if Rupan gets in and somehow is able to get out, he wouldn't be able to take any money. They wouldn't incur any loss. Only the people like you know that has come here, you know, uh, it'll be like a positive thing for them. He'll only gain. You know, there's nothing to lose for him here. That's like part one of the security, like you know, layer. Number two uh, thing that he had in this uh, step is that he had Zenigata in there. So if Zenigata is somehow able to capture Rupan here, you know, then <clears throat> and the, the, he's able to arrest Rupan and take him out of there, it will boost his popularity even more because people are outside. This whole thing will be completely public. Rupan will be taken out from the front door with Zenigata handcuffs in him and his bank will get even more popular. So he had nothing to lose in this, you know, only to gain. So that's why he, like, you know, planned to, like, you know, he, he got Zenigata in here and he was like, okay, if we're going to capture Rupan like this and you're going, to, you're going to stay in the vault and when he opens the door, you're going to grab him. So he's, he has nothing to lose here. If Rupan somehow is able to escape, it's only here, to, like, you know, he won't be able to take any money out. And if Zenigata captures him, that's all well and good. That's even better. So this is a very well thought out plan, uh, especially involving Zenigata in it. And I'm like, yeah, this, this is a really good one. Okay, so Rupan, as we know, he's able to get out of this place. He somehow is able to like, you know, use the substitution jutsu and <laughs> get out of the handcuffs. <laughs> and okay, so then he goes away now he escapes all well and good you know no problem because he wasn't able to take any money because there isn't any money so they use this thing to use they can use the helicopter to spread the word that yeah rupan wasn't able to get a single like you know cent out of the bank it's technically true but you know <laughs> so everyone's like oh this is amazing this is like the best bank let's go and they get in and like you know like they, they just deposit all their money into the bank and <laughs> goemon jig and all of them uh, fujiko they're like well, what should we do now like, you know, they're like slandering his name zenigata already knew that yeah he's going to come back again so the manager is like okay now we have these like you know extra uh security things now they won't be able to open the you know vault if they try to um open it normally there's lasers in it which will annihilate lupa if they try to drill it or like you know slash it open uh there's like electrocuting like you know thing there uh, which will melt anything that comes in contact with it uh so yeah goemon's zantetsuken will also just get destroyed so he's like nothing you know you can, you, you cannot do anything about this like you, you cannot you know get into the vault okay one thing i'm kind of wait a minute this part i kind of wait so why was the vault not opening this part i didn't even think about like rupan comes in rupan is like okay like i have like an just a sec I devised a way to keep it from opening again. And he brings out that vial thing with the acid or whatever it is, like solution. I don't know what it is, but it completely just burns through metals and stuff. Now, okay, one thing I don't understand here. Why was the bank vault not opening? Like the bank vault not opening was like the the main plan here. Like it, it's it's like the thing that actually set everything into motion. So what Rupan did after that, I can understand. You know, like he comes in as a disguise and opens the vault using that thing, that liquid solvent. But why was the bank not uh, vault not opening in the first place? This okay, I, I didn't think about this. Like this part I don't understand. But anyways, the somehow the bank vault isn't opening. 
was not opening and Rupan takes that you know chance comes in as like a locker opener or whatever I don't know and he drops the acid or whatever into it just opens like makes like a big hole in it Jigen and Goemon are ready with the vacuum put it into the the open areas in that vault and start sucking in and obviously they kind of explained it. it it was like you know it was like obviously that was an easy explanation basically they sucked in the air and the air pressure lowered which you know, you know like kind of made the the money float up and just get in and get out through the holes and that's how they were able to grab the money but none of this would have happened if the vault opened and in the first place so why did the vault not open this part i don't understand now that i think about it but anyways somehow they were able to like you know do it and they went like you know went away uh no no they don't explain that part why was the vault not opening anyways um so yeah now the bank manager is like oh we're doomed like nothing we can do about this but everyone's like oh like we saw the second and through our eyes like Rupan was able to grab all the money from your bank and like you know they kind of became famous in that way and they were like oh what's the story what's the story and they were able to prosper with the bank now a lot of years uh, one year I think yeah one year later he is like he my Miami bank has become an American names, namesake and yeah, it's like the for, the foremost bank in all of Florida. <laughs> and Rupan, Jigen, Goemon, all and Fujiko, they're back here again because this guy sent an invitation to everyone, like not only Rupan but Senigata as well and all the others. Like, yeah, bank robbery is going to happen again. And <laughs> Rupan is like, yeah, let's do it then. No, he's inviting me. My god, this is funny. And they're like, yeah, they're like the same thing is going to happen every year now. And I guess this is win a win for everyone, you know, like the, the guy wins, you know, the bank manager, he's going to win every every year. Ruben is going to maybe somehow able to get a little bit money out of that. Who knows? And uh, yeah, and Zengata might has a chance of winning as well if he's able to grab and capture Rupan using this as an opportunity. So a win for everyone. Happy ending. <laughs> oh boy. And, and the people are also happy because they are able to see this whole thing unfurling in front of their eyes. Like this has become like a like annual festival or something. Like <laughs> Lupin robs the bank festival or whatever. <laughs> annual bank robbery festival. <laughs> God. And that's where it ends. Wow. Fantastic two episodes. These two episodes were really good. I loved it and uh, yeah that's it so thanks for watching guys this was uh, my reaction to episode 99 and 143 so yeah if you guys enjoyed these videos uh, be sure to press the, press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know or if you have any recommendations i'm taking four more uh, episode recommendations that is two people you know so recommend me uh, rupan episodes from season two if you want to Next week, I am going to react to episode number 145 and 148. So, yeah. So, see you guys then next week. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.